think these bees need some sugars pronto. You can take a look. Look at that. That's a lot of bees. Nice big cluster though. Yeah, this is fantastic. So this side has a inner cover and a piece of hard insulation on top. So check it out. No bees. Not a single bee, but I don't know if you can see this. Probably not. Oh, there they are. So that's the cluster. This is uh, this colony is made up of uh, of a deep and two medium honey supers. So this phone is sitting on top of a honey super that's packed with honey, and the bees aren't even up to it yet. So lovely. I love it. So I was going to give them some uh, pollen patty, but they're way, way, way down below, and I love it. <laughs> they don't need anything. If they're not up top, and they've got a full honey super up top that's packed with honey, and they haven't touched it yet, love it, love it, love it. There we go. That's a lot of bees. That's a good number of bees, and it's a lot of sugar. Oh, look, if they're getting some moisture's getting in there. Okay, I gotta put a moisture quilt on this. So this one has a deep and two medium supers up top. Let's see what we got underneath. Okay, I don't see or hear bees. Let me just listen. Oh, you, can, you can hear them now, so they're good. So that's awesome, look at this. These ones that I've uh, converted with to, uh... anyway, this is great. Okay, well, <coughs> you can't see the bees, but you can hear them. Well, I just dug this hive out, <coughs> and I don't know what's going on, so let's take a look. It's been buried for more than a month. Oh, there they are. Very small cluster, or it, may, it could just be the tip of the cluster. Okay. Alright, I'm going to give them this pollen patty. Oh, they're, they're coming up a little bit now that I've opened the top. I will put this right about here, ish. And I can see a lot of uh, moldy looking comb. Um, yeah, I've riled them up a little bit. Yeah, so, so I think some, yeah, there might be some moisture getting in here. Oh yeah, they're definitely starting to roar now. You can see the, uh, didn't even notice that. Oh. So, there's definitely water getting in. It's starting to get moldy right there. That ain't great. So, I'll leave them, I'll let them calm down. Well, you can see right here, look, just probably where water is just getting right in from the top. Oh, great. This is what's going on here. This is why I'm hearing so many bees. Lovely. Just check this out. So, there's the inner. There's a little bit of space between the inner cover and the insulation, and they're right in it. So, hooray. I'll put this on top. There we go. So they might be, I see, I see for honey in these frames, but maybe not a lot. So I'm going to, I'm not starving yet, but I'm going to uh, put some sugar in sometime soon. Hopefully. Ah, crap. We're up here. Oh. Ah, damn it. God, there's a lot of bees. I'm gonna have to shake them off. Alright, so there it is. That's what it looks like. And you can see it's definitely damp. So, this is gonna go on top. <coughs> Just like that. I'm not gonna put... I'm not gonna put a... The moisture or inner cover on it or anything, just gonna load that up with, with moisture with, with wood chips right now. Okay, so there it is, it's got wood chips in it now, and uh, I have to come out and clean clear away the snow because I'm wearing my snowshoes and I'm level with the top of these hives. So, this is the other hive that needs a moisture quilt, and uh, and I don't feel like 
pulling the this rim up again and having bees all over the place and falling in the snow and stuff so I'm just for now until I clear out that snow and can access the hive easier instead of crawling up to it with my snowshoes I'm just gonna put the moisture quilt over the inner cover with the hole there and hopefully any moisture will come up through that hole and get wicked out with the with the moisture quilt all right so it looks a bit messy right now but I got the job done they got a moisture quilt they got a, a rim and some uh, pollen patties and uh, I think everyone's got pollen padding now or most of them uh, they've got a moisture quilt and I gotta put some sugar on some of these hives I gotta put sugar on that one and probably this one can't remember now and uh, so I'll put mix some sugar cakes and uh, have them put on in a couple days and uh, I'm gonna dig out some of the snow and try to get these hives uh, sealed up better than they are because obviously there's snow getting in somewhere and uh, it's lots of snow so what am I gonna do and I'll be glad when snowshoes are no longer part of my beekeeping gear Thank you.